Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your scent of the day or scent of the night? Leave a comment down below. So today's gonna be a daily vlog. I'm gonna be wearing Zoologist and this is Tiger. So I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it and if it's worth trying or sampling at the end of the day. Hope you enjoy this cool vlog video. I'm gonna go bowling with Kelly and we're gonna grab something to eat. So here we go. This is style. Oh, my dad did it. I don't have to. Just got back from going bowling, grabbing some food. We're on a double date, it was me and fiance Kelly, uh, Laura and Eric. So been friends with them for a while and been awesome. And every now and then we try to go out, have date night, we either go bowling, go to the movies, get something, just hang out. We don't see each other all the time, but we do enjoy the time we get to hang out with each other, talk about life, so on and so forth. So that was pretty cool. So I wore this fragrance here. It's called Zoologist and it's Tiger. So if you're new to Zoologist fragrances or to my channel, welcome to the channel. I talk about fragrance stuff, whether it's a first impression, full and death review, top 10 list. So if you enjoyed this video by the end, make sure you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Zoologist fragrances, they're based off animals, like their habitat and the animal itself. So there's fragrances like squid, that's more of aquatic, sea salty, there's, a, there's bee, wax, that type of honey-based fragrance. Then there's actual koala, so on and so forth. My favorite is Panda, you guys know that by now. Owner of the brand is Victor Wong. So this is another new release from the house, a 2023 uh, release. So this one here, I'll post notes on the screen. I'll go over them real quick. So the top notes we have are kumquat, cardamom, saffron, jasmine. So I wore it tonight. I'll tell you how I feel about it right here on Test Strip. So you can pick up your samples at perfumology.com or at Perfumology in store in Philadelphia. I'll leave the link down below. Samples gonna run you about maybe $10 to $15 for a two mil sample. So this opens up. You're definitely getting that citrus, like the citrus kind of freshness from the kumquat. So it's kind of like a citrus fruitiness in it. And you're definitely picking up some sweetness and some spiciness coming from the cardamom and the saffron. This one does have a lot of incense in as well. So you might like this, you may not. It does come off this like freshness about as well. Very green and herbalness in the fragrance. And you're definitely picking up some jasmine as well. You definitely pick up some ambrette seed. You kind of get like vibes of um, the Chanel less exclusive fragrance. A lot of fragrances have that am Ambret seed vibe in it. It has that note in it. So you kind of get that feel in the fragrance. This is more of like a mature scent. This isn't one like, you know, a typical 16, 17 year old. This is more of a person that's a fragrance aficionado like me. Somebody in their 20s and up would wear something like this. Definitely I get this very green vibe. Now, vetiver is another primary note in this fragrance. It's very green. So if you like vetiver based scents, you're gonna love something like this. Definitely picking up um, some ebony, like the wood, you get a lot of woodiness in this fragrance as well. It gives you that forest green vibe in the fragrance, if you know what I mean. Like walking into a forest is very damp, or maybe it rained the day before. And then next day you go out to the forest and you start walking around, you start seeing like these damp, um, watery areas where you start feeling that watery smell around the trees, you get that vibe. It's a nice scent. It's not my favorite from his house, but this one is a nice different type of scent coming with the note of vetiver. And I know a lot of people like vetiver fragrance like I, I love Tom Ford, Grey Vetiver, Parfum. I feel like that's one of, the, one of the best vetivers from a designer level. This here is a great vetiver from a niche high quality fragrance brand. Touch a little bit on performance. People always ask performance. Now, I don't have a full bottle, so this is just going off of a little sample I have here. When you have a full bottle, it might better atomize, or you can do more sprays and more comes on your skin. Like it sprays more on your skin, right? So the first two hours, very nice projection beyond the arm length. So people are gonna detect the fragrance. They're gonna smell it off you. I did five sprays. I did one, two, three, four, five, and it was lasting a long time. No complaints. Longevity, 
you're easily looking at eight plus hours. Now you might get nine, 10, 11. It'll get you through a work day, going out running errands, eight hours on your skin. Most zoologists, you get about a good eight hours. It might be one or two, you get about six or seven, but majority of the house, you're getting eight plus hours every time. Whether you do three sprays, two sprays, five sprays, you're getting eight hours consistently every time. That's one thing about the brand I can say, which is a positive. Season occasion. So for me personally, this one I feel like you can wear it anywhere. Uh, you can wear it um, in the spring and summer as well to fall winter time. You can grab it and spray it. I don't think it's gonna offend anybody at all as far as I know. Um, if we're gonna go with occasions now, I don't know if I wanna wear it date night. I think you can wear it to work. One spray maybe two. Don't go crazy because people may not think the the um the heaviness of the bedroom might be too too much or too clean for some people. You can wear it casual running errands. It should work perfectly for you. That's pretty much it. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, this is a seven out of ten. It doesn't have the components that I look for it in a lot of fragrances, but it's a very different type of fragrance for now to watch, which is very, you know, you always make fragrances that are very different than your normal typical mass appealing scents or you know, generic fragrances. This is a very nice vetiver based scent people should check out. If you don't like vetiver, maybe you should still give it a try, give yourself a sample, but this is primarily a green herbal vetiver based type of scent. There is some freshness with the kumquat, but I feel like that freshness only in the opening and then it kind of more green and kind of dirty and earthy like, and it's okay. You know, this one you might have to wear a few times and see if it grows on you. I worn it, it was nice, it's, it's one that, I would have to wear it for more time to see if I would love it, but it's an okay scent at the end of the day. If you tried Zoologist Tiger, what do you think? Do you like the fragrance? Do you love it? If you don't like it, why you don't like it? Let me know in the comment section below. What are your favorite Zoologist fragrances? Let me know down below. If you made this far in the video, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you click that red subscribe button. Show your support for the channel. Like the video, click the bell icon to miss any future content on this channel. Be safe, everyone. Me and Kelly, all you guys around the world. And I'll see you next video very soon. Peace.